parking services, baby, they're going to get you. Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome back to The Brighter Side. Now, I have my UCF gear on. It's a really big jacket, but I wanted to show some love to my school. In today's video, I am so excited because I am answering my first subscriber question. Um, and it is from Shakir Barnes. And he asked, can you please do a video about why we should choose UCF? I am highly considering transferring to UCF. If you follow me on Instagram at I am Denari, then you will know that I go to the University of Central Florida. And today I am coming to you guys with 10 pros and 10 cons about the University of Central Florida. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. Before we start guys, I just want to give you a small update as to why I didn't post yesterday. Yesterday was day 7 of Vlogmas. My flowers still haven't come in for my flower wall. And then the things that I thought would stick to my wall so that I could hang up my curtains and hang up some of my other things does not work for my wall. So I have to figure out what's going to stick to my drywall and then that video will be up. And instead of it being two separate videos, it's going to be the flower wall tutorial and my room decor vlog also and room tour all in one. So you won't have to come back to see both of them. but. Like I said, I may not post it, be posting tomorrow because my flower say they will come in tomorrow and I can't figure out how to do that and post it the same day. So that is a little update as to why I have not posted yesterday for Vlogmas and may not be posting tomorrow for Vlogmas. But I have my 10 pros and my 10 cons on my phone, so let's start reading those off. I'm going to do pros first. My first pro is that the school is actually just a beautiful school. It's just actually beautiful it's very well taken care of you see maintenance people all over the place all day every day cutting the grass cutting the trees making sure there's no trash in the trash bins or on the ground or anything the school is just very beautiful even the old buildings look as if they are very well kept up so that's one number two it is in Oviedo but it is in or close to Orlando so there's always something to do my third pro is that it's a huge campus and I love that it's a huge campus because you do not see the same faces every day you'll walk past somebody and you'll never see them again or you'll meet somebody and you and they'll say I go to UCF and you'll be like I go to UCF too and you'll be like I've never seen you before it's just that big there's something new every day to do on campus all the time my fourth pro is that we have our addition arena we do have an arena that the basketball players play in but we also use it for like things like the step show we have real performers come to perform at that arena and we do get student discounts sometimes so that is a really big pro um to come to the university of central florida the arena is literally on campus um and everything happens there we're gonna have we're gonna have burner boy on the night which is tomorrow so yeah it's gonna be it's very nice to have that on campus it's a really nice addition to the university of central florida another pro that i have is that we have a lot of food places we have Huey and McGoo's, we have two chick-fil-a's we have two domino's we have panda express qdoba bento sushi steak and shake this place called burger U. Um, we have a 7-Eleven, we have a Subway, we have a Gringo's Tacos, we have a lot of stuff. We have Starbucks, we have a caf another cafe, we have an Einstein Bagel Bros, we have a lot of stuff, y'all. If you watch my mukbangs, then you know I love to eat. So being on a campus with a whole bunch of food, it just makes me happy. Work studies on campus. Every campus has a work study, but with our campus being as huge as it is, our campus is literally a mini city. Like, literally a mini city. Cars drive through all the time, we have street lights, stuff like that like we have a forest in the middle of campus with raccoons and animals and stuff it's a city so with it being a city there's a lot of places to work on campus you don't have to go off campus to go to work and if you have class it's very convenient because then you go from work to class back to work if that's the case or you know all of that but it's very convenient to be working on campus what i've noticed and it's not hard to miss because there is literally a road called like something about research there's a lot of research opportunities for 
people that are interested in them. Um, I am a psychology major, so we do have to do research. We do have to do clinicals and labs and such like that. And there are so many ways to get involved and to get actual real paying jobs from the University of Central Florida. Um, doing research for that or engineering is such a big program here. There's a lot of engineering research, nursing, like there's just research everywhere. You get paid to do research all the time. And that leads me to my next tip. UCF, they be looking out for you. If you go on your UCF email, there's gonna be emails and emails and emails about opportunities for internships, jobs, anything. There's gonna be an email about it. I get specific opportunities about psychology jobs or research opportunities and things of that nature in my email. So I know that other people in different colleges get specifically catered emails to them. But there are also mass emails that everybody gets because, you know, there doesn't need to be any major qualification. But, um, yes, they be looking out for you. One thing about them is they're going to send you an email about a job and an opportunity to go do some research. Now, that is one thing UCF going to do. My next thing, everybody knows this, but UCF is a very, very heavily sports-centered school. They love them some sports, especially football. Everybody loves football, though, but UCF loved them some football. They love it a little bit too much to be spending a million dollars on them jerseys that they can't even wear for real. But I'm not on the football team. I ain't no athletic nothing. So I would let them have it. But hey, that's just my opinion. Y'all could have put half of that milli to something else. But I'm going to try it. A majority of our team do do very well. You'll see something about sports all over the place. And the games be lit. The basketball games be lit. The football games be lit. Our student section is very obnoxious wherever we go. I just went to the USF game and I fit in very well here. Um, we are very obnoxious as UCF students. But that's just because we love our school, we love our sports, and we better than y'all. So what about it? That could be a pro for many people and a con for others, but I like sports, so that's a pro for me. And of course, you get free tickets to the event, but at other schools, you get free tickets, but y'all teams be losing. <clears throat> USF. Our school, you get free tickets and our team be winning. So, where would you rather go? My last pro is that the class sizes are not terribly big. Um, you may have some bigger classes. I haven't been in one yet, but I do actually enjoy how big my classes are. They're big enough for me to duck off and not have to answer any questions, but they're not too big to where I can't ask any questions if I have something. That is a very big pro for me because I do like to learn, especially in person, but sometimes if there's too many people, then it's like, it gets overwhelming and you don't go to class. Now let's get into our cons. Now I know I go to a PWI. PWI means predominantly white institution, but there is no black people here, bro. I know there's not a lot because I literally see the same black people doing the same thing all day. Like there's, there's not one club that majority of the club doesn't belong to another club. Like there is not a lot of black people here. I thought there was going to be a lot more black people here, but there is not. And that's okay because we don't go to an HBCU, historically black college or university. But at the same time, like I've been wanting to see people like me and the niggas don't be fine here, y'all. Y'all got to look for love in your personality. Niggas don't be too fine if you're like, I ain't seen nobody that I'm just like, dang, like he might have my kids. I ain't seen nobody like that up here. But I'm here to go to school, so that's okay. Second, teachers don't get fired. There's a lot of tenure at our university, which means that if you work at the university for a long amount of time, then there's basically no reason for you to get fired unless you do something that's just horrific. And you may be like, why is that a con? It's a con because if 80% of the class is failing every year, that teacher won't get fired. They will just be like, y'all need to try harder because the teacher's been here so long, he can't be doing nothing wrong or she can't be doing nothing wrong to where half the class is failing. It's just that y'all aren't good at the, y'all not good at the subject. But in reality, a lot of the reason why students fail do be on the teacher and the teachers don't be caring no more because they gonna have a job regardless. But the teachers that I have encountered, the ones that I have been in class with, they've taught me and they've taught me very well. Oh my God! Getting appointment for anything, getting on the phone for anything, registrar's office, financial aid office, anything, it takes forever to get on the phone with them people. It takes forever to get on the phone with them people. It's too many students on campus for them to not have as much staff as they don't have. Like, it shouldn't take me two hours to get on the phone. It shouldn't take me an actual hour to see somebody if I'm there in person. Like, 
that's absolutely ridiculous. Another con, and I don't have to deal with this too much because I don't live on campus. Everything on campus closes early except for Gringos and 7-Eleven. But for those who do live on campus, you have to go off campus still to go get food because places close at like 7 and 8 o'clock on campus. And that can get annoying because I have all this food in walking distance and I have to drive off campus or get a ride off campus to go get food. Like. If I lived on campus and that was the case for me, I would low-key be blow. Housing and prices go dummy. I'm paying $9.25 to live in my apartment right now. $9.25 to live in one room. I'm not even occupying the other rooms. All I got is a room, a bathroom, and half of a kitchen. And I'm paying $9.25 for that. And living on campus, it's hard to get in sometimes, especially with how many students we have. It's hard to get in, so... If you don't get it on campus, then you have to go pay those ridiculous prices off campus. And it's just sometimes it don't even feel worth it. Like, it's expensive, y'all. It's expensive to be up here. And there isn't enough housing for all the students that live here. Like, they're literally building more housing across the street from school. And then they're building more housing across the street from me. And piggybacking off of that point, being a transfer student is just super hard. One, it's super hard to find housing. Like, for me... My school year, I got my associates and I transferred in after fall semester. So I transferred in technically in the middle of the school year and it was super hard trying to find housing. That's why I'm paying this ridiculous amount pretty much is because it was so hard to find housing. But then it's still even harder to find housing now because I'm trying to move and all the prices are ridiculous. But being a transfer student is just hard in general. It's hard to make friends as a transfer student because all of the people that have been going to UCF since their freshman year have already made their friends. Um, you don't just walk up somebody and make friends with them like in high school or if you were a freshman in college. You really have to join clubs and get active and involved in the campus to make like real friends. Like you don't just make friends in a library like you see on TV or in the movies. Parking services, baby. They're gonna get you. They're gonna get you. I got two I got two parking violations in a matter of two weeks. And that's on me because I don't have my parking pass. But like, bro, like, why y'all gotta get me? Parking services is annoying. Parking in the garage everywhere is annoying. Having to look at the signs to see if you can park here is annoying. You have to have a B or C permit to park here or a A permit to park here or an R permit to park here and only the D permits can park here. And it's just a lot going on with parking. There's always no parking or there's always parking that's too far away from your class. I think that's like that everywhere, but I go to the University of Central Florida. So I can only speak for the University of Central Florida. Our student web portal is called My UCF. It's just very hard to navigate. Like, especially as a transfer student, because you don't get, as a transfer student, you don't get all the hand holding that everybody else gets. You get thrown in there because you've been in college before, so it's like you know how to figure stuff out and you have to find out from other people how to use stuff and where yeah, to go and stuff like that. But our UCF portal is very, very hard to use because there's like a few sections on the side and you click on the section and then there's a lot more sections within that one section and then if you click the section that you need then there's a lot more sections within that section that you need so then you got to keep clicking until you find where you want to find and when you start clicking a lot then you get confused don't even know where you're at anymore and then now you got to call for help and then those phone lines go crazy so then you actually just don't get the help that you need and now you look at stuff because you need to register for classes and you don't know how to register for classes or you need to pay a bill you don't know how to pay the bill and yeah so the UCL portal is very annoying like I will say though everything you need is in there everything you need is in that UCF portal but it's just so hard to navigate it if it was easier to navigate I would be like chef's kiss like but it's not so it's not chef's kiss and my last con is that students do not know how to drive on this campus like I said our school is a mini city so it's like our school is comprised of three circles. There's a small circle in the middle, then a big circle, and then a bigger circle. So that means there's a lot of roads in between there. Like I said, we have like we have parking garages A through F or A through G. So we have a lot of parking garages and students just don't know how to drive here. They don't know how to drive in the parking garages. They don't know how to drive on the regular road. They don't know how to do nothing. And then students will dart across the road. So it's like you have students that don't know how to drive and you have students that are jaywalking that you might hit. 
and that gets very nerve-wracking and it gets annoying because y'all just need to get it together like ain't no reason for y'all to be doing all this i'm just trying to get to class i'm just trying to go and now y'all in the way and y'all driving crazy so that mean i gotta slow down to make sure you're not gonna hit me and i gotta slow down even more to make sure i'm not hitting these illegal jaywalkers and it's annoying so the driving on campus is not the best and you just gotta be very very careful I can promise you that. But all in all, I really do enjoy going to the University of Central Florida. I've made my friends. Once you get over like the anxiety of being in college now and having to like do things on your own, it's really fun. You get a lot of free stuff if you're just walking all over the place and walking around school. You get a lot of free stuff. They always hand this stuff out. And yeah, so going to UCF has been an enjoyable experience. Very glad to be here. Very blessed to be here. If you guys have any more questions about my campus, um, go ahead and let me know. I have my Instagram in the description box below. You can also ask them in the comments and I will go ahead and answer them as quickly and as thoroughly as I possibly can. Again, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I low-key missed you guys in that one day I didn't post. So, I hope you missed me. And I hope you guys are ready to see the next vlog miss upload. Whenever the case may be. Like I said, it may not be tomorrow. It most likely would be Saturday or Sunday if I can get my flower wall up as fast as possible. And go get those things that I need to get to hang the stuff on my wall. So, um, I'm Denari Diaries. And thank you for watching my channel. Bye!